what's going on everybody sports 03 here today we have transformers generations fall of cybertron optimus prime deluxe class figure from the upcoming video game awesome i love the package design the artwork i should say very cool very awesome i'm excited to have this here's a quick bio thing on the back take a second to read that if you want pause it and another really nice feature that I'm glad that uh, they did was the technical data here this um, tech spec you can see that very cool I like that it's gonna make me save this card back just because of the collectability of it because of that right there so either way let's get this guy out and have a closer look at him all right so we got Optimus out of his plastic tomb and I gotta tell you this thing looks fantastic look at it just look at it it's just amazing look at it man this thing is cool yeah he's a bit uh, lego-y creo -y, blocky but you know what who cares this thing it's supposed to be cybertronian it looks great i love it all kinds of articulation we'll start at the feet here look at that ball joint move up and down knee articulation a little swivel and ball joint at the hip something here at the waist look at that spin it around move it up and down up and down at the shoulders it is hindered a little bit but that's okay a little swivel and up and down movement at the shoulder and elbow here. Look at that, like a bicep swivel. I like that. And the fists also rotate. Very cool. And then up here, these smokestacks do hide. I mean, you can move them up and down if you want. The head is on a ball joint. You can look them up, look them down, look all around. It's great. Perfect. I love it. All kinds of articulation. Very nice. I like it. One gripe, I don't dig this whole head reveal gimmick thing here take it or leave it I'll leave it size comparison real quick here bring in his Cybertronian brother here and obviously they did downsize these deluxes I will say that I like this one better the war for Cybertron is better I like it it's a little bit more fiddly twice as long to transform it but you know what I like it better it's a little bit bigger you get more bang for your buck but so be it and then his one of his wave mates here, Jazz. Yes, out of scale, Optimus obviously should be a little bit bigger, but it still works well. Maybe we'll get a uh, maybe we'll get a, a Voyager out of this guy here. I doubt we'll get any kind of leader class, but hopefully they will give us a Voyager class. A couple nice Autobot symbols there too. Very nice. Up close look at his head. I like it. G1, -y, all that good scrumptious stuff. Here's the back. So not a whole lot going on back there. You can see everything is revealed of what's going on. But still, it works. I like it. Here's a simply uh, made plastic molded blaster there. Which you can put on the side here. There's a port there and a port there. But it doesn't work well. I mean, it's kind of awkward. Eh, see? So there's that. And that's about it, man. He looks great. All the G1 colors, all red, blue, silver. I mean, this is a customizer's dream right here. You're going to see tons of customs on this thing. People are going to mod this. They're going to repaint the heck out of this. I can't wait to see what people come up with. Some just ultra magnet. I mean, there's going to be so many things that are going to be done with this guy. So basically, you just flip the feet up, pull the legs back in on themselves, and tab them in here. Now, because of my big banana hands, he does he does not work well transforming for me. So feel free to make fun of me as I transform him into vehicle mode here. Rotate the fists around, just like so. Then spin them at the, the wrist, just like that. Then fold the arms up on themselves, just like so. Remove, pop this panel up and kind of work his arms down at the same time and stuff that in there then you can flip this panel back down to cover that hole and bring the arms back down a little bit it's like so and there are pegs here and this is where it gives me a little bit of a problem but not that big a deal you can see the slot right there on the side of his cab and then there's a peg right there on his arm you just kind of get that to go into place a little bit and this is where I run into a little bit of a problem for me. And then 
you want to make sure you want to make sure you plug these uh, bumpers in first. Get them plugged in. Rotate them around. They're on ball joints, no problem. Same thing here on this side, and then the the bumpers are tabbed together. There's little slots there where they they tab together. You make sure you get these pegged in on the side here first. There we go, and then just lift it up, pop it on just like so. Make sure that when my thumb is here, that's pushed in all the way. And then on the back here, you just slide this whole section up, and there are pegs in the holes right there by my fingertip, and then the pegs right here. And you just kind of find and locate them and plug them in, stuff them in there just like so, and fiddle with it just a little bit to get everything lined up, and there you go. There he is in his vehicle mode, and you take his blaster, and you can plug it on right here at the bottom of what used to be his feet. Get that on there, and that works well. Now you can plug it in on the side here. He's got little holes on the side of his leg there and here on this side as well, but it just wouldn't look right. Man, I got to tell you, look at that thing, man. That is awesomeness. I love it. It's simplistic. Yes, it's blocky. Who cares? It's simplistic. It works well. Simple transformation. The kids are going to love it. Man, there's the underside. Yeah, you know, it's got uh, it's got a uh, rescue bot type feel, but you know what? I like it. Okay? And this, you know, when I first saw this, it reminded me of this guy. This is the, the Titanium Optimus. So, I'm going to use him for a comparison. So, I like it. I like it. See, you can see the resemblance. Why I thought that uh, these two look the same. I love it. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. So, you know, yeah, the price point went up, the size went down, but just for this particular Optimus, you know what? I'm going to let that slide because, you know, I'm an Optimus. So, there you guy. go, everybody. There is Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Class Optimus Prime. Go get yourself one. Um, I can't say enough about this figure. It is awesome. It is great. Get it. You'll be glad you paid the extra couple of bucks that they're charging now for these figures. Trust me, it's worth having. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Take it easy.